Hi, welcome back to a new episode on my channel. In this episode, I'm going to continue work on this Piaggio MP3. I'm going to fix the coolant leak. I've got all the parts uh, that I need inside. This is the new thermostat housing with the new thermostat that is leaking on this edge. So I can replace it. I got a new air filter, new oil filter, a new spark plug, new oil, everything. So I can work on it. In the last episode, you saw me uh, pull this with a tie rip. I let it overnight. The feeling of the brakes are a little bit better, uh, but not uh, good enough. When I pull the right leverage of the brake, I see some movement in the foot brake. When I put my foot on the foot brake, I feel some movement in the leverage. So in my brake handle. So the two are connected. What I find out is in the front, uh, up net just above the wall lock system, there is a junction uh, point for the front brakes and the foot brake. Maybe there is some error in that system. So let's take out the front. Uh, look what's under there. I need to take off the front anyway because I want to do some maintenance to the wall lock system and check it out. So let's get some tools and let's get started. So for this, three bolts to remove. We need a, a HW4 uh, inbus. And then we can undo this to remove this windshield. So if you see here, you've got three uh, dots here. You can adjust your uh, windscreen in three positions, higher and lower. Now the windshield is out. We can remove this V part. To remove this, you must undo the logo and underneath there is a screw or a bolt. What you do is take a little flat screwdriver and just pop this out. And in here, there, uh, we need a Torx screw. The Torx screw that's inside here is a T27. Just be gentle with this paint, yes. Lift it up a little bit. And then it is all with these clips connected. So the T27 Torx goes here. Then you lift it up a little bit and you can pull this out. <coughs> what I like to do is put back the screws where they belong because this is loose and you can lose it uh, very easily. But when you put it back, it will stay on the right place where it belongs. So that will go not anywhere. <coughs> For now, we undo this six uh, big screws and then we can take this front plate off.
And now we can take out this part because it is a two piece part and I believe this is a T27 too. No, it's a smaller one. And to remove this, you need a T25 Torx. So what we see here, this is, is a junction uh, port from your brakes. There is a bleeder here and a bleeder here on top. This is your reservoir for your lower lock system. The level is good. I already checked the level from the brakes, uh, the foot brake. So let's see the footage now. And that is uh, good enough. So what we are going to do is to bleed the system again here. I know in the front there is no uh, air anymore, but maybe here on top. This is coming from the, I believe, let's see. This is coming, this line, it's the feed line from your handle and your brake. And this too is going down to the the front brakes. So maybe there is some air here or there. So let's see what I can do. So, you can see now, there is no air, just a little bit of air coming out.
So this is your bleeding nipple from your uh, foot brake and this is your bleeding nipple from your uh, handbrake. To fill up this reservoir uh, you will need dot 4. This is for your wall lock system. Uh, I think it's good. I will give it a little bit more so I'm sure that there is enough uh, oil in there. So what I will do, let's zoom out the camera, I get this, I suck some oil in it, I have filled this up with some oil and now let's put it in here. Just to the maximum level. So that's enough. And now we can close the system. So, if you can see, uh, someone put some holes in here. I don't know why, maybe for navigation or something else, I don't know. What I can do, I can replace this piece, but it's a little bit expensive. What I also have is this rubber caps. Yeah, I can put them in here. And when I put it in, it is look like in the factory style. This le less noticeable as the holes uh, are in there. So let's put them in and now putting back the screen.
So in this episode, you saw me taking out this thermostat housing. The ring here is all rotted out and is broken. Because of the spring, it was pushing out and that's why it was leaking here. I hear I've got a new one. This ring is perfect and I will mounting back this. The only thing I must uh, use from the old part is this bracket. Just put it here and then put the hose under. The old factory clamps, these are a pain in the ass to get off, but I managed. If you can see, I must take out the entire side of the motorcycle just to get access to this uh, thermostat housing. Uh, it is all the time that I got today for this episode. In the next episode, I will change out this one, put new coolant in, and then uh, restart it and bleed the air out. So as I mentioned, this is all the time I've got today for this episode because I must go to work. In the next episode, I will change this out and bleed the system. Putting back everything together and then the thermostat must be fine. Then I gave a maintenance to the motor, a new spark plug, new air filter, new fuel filter, new uh, oil filter, uh, complete new oil, and then it will be perfect again. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Put post notifications on so you don't miss out anything. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You help me uh, with growing this uh, channel. It's for free. So please subscribe and put the post notifications on so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.